Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're here in La Residencia, Santa Rosa, Laguna to feature this 19.6 million home with three bedrooms, three and a half toilet and bath, a maid's quarter with its own toilet and bath, a driver's quarter with its own toilet and bath, two carport, and a space for your landscape garden. So tara, I'm really excited. Let's begin this house tour. If you're new to my channel, I'm Armand Cruz. I'm a real estate broker here in the Philippines and I sell properties in Laguna, Cavite, and Batangas. So if you're looking for a property or looking to sell your property, I invite you to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, or you can also contact us on our Viber, WhatsApp, and iMessage. The number is posted on the screen. We're also on social media. We have Facebook and Instagram. Or if you're just looking for a property and you just want to get updated with the latest news, you can go on our Viber community. The link is on the description box. So let's go and continue our house tour. This property sits in a 252 square meter lot area with a floor area of 250 square meters, three bedrooms, three and a half toilet and bath. Your maid's room have their own toilet and bath, a driver's quarter with their own toilet and bath, two carport, and a huge space for your landscape garden. So tara, let's tour the exterior part of this property. As you can see, yung exterior part ng bahay natin, it's a modern design. It's very beautifully made. It's a mixture of brown, dark gray, or charcoal gray colors, and white. So I really like yung exterior colors niya. As you can see, the gate and fence is already included in the turnover of this property. And ang maganda po dito, this is just very near the gate and it's facing the morning sun. So tara, pasok na po tayo sa loob ng ating bahay. As we enter the house, we will be greeted by a small pocket garden here in the property. As you can see, it's already landscaped so you don't need to make any modifications for this property unless you really are not fans of plants, maybe cemento nyo yan. Pero this is actually nice. You can still place tables and chairs here to entertain your guests. Now, right across the our landscape garden in the front, we also have our carport. So our carport can fit two cars. Kasyang kasya po siya. So maluwag po siya. It's already it was already designed. Meron na po siyang some tiles and also meron na po siyang pebbles. And maganda po yung gawa niya. It has roofing. You also have your gate. Now, what's nice about this carport, it has an access going to your service area. So, right here will be your uh, driver's quarters. So, tara, pasokin na rin natin. So, as we enter this part, this will be your driver's quarters. It's squarish in size. Cash sa po ang ating single bed. It already has a cabinet. And at the same time, what's nice about this is meron po siyang sariling toilet and bath. So, it, they, if... If yung driver nyo doesn't need to go inside the house already, meron na po siyang sariling shower, meron siyang toilet, and also meron na siyang sink. So, punta naman tayo sa, uh, let's just explore this part a little bit further. And also, dito sa side na to, uh, you can do some cleaning for the car or meron kayo mga kailangan linisin. You already have your, your sink here, you also have a faucet. You have a place here wherein you can have your washing machine so pwede rin kayong mag-laundry dito. So, itong pong part na to, this is yung service area, pero mamaya ko na ipapakita. Let's explore the other side of the house. Uh, so, dito tayo sa carport. Now, we're gonna cross the other side. Babalik tayo dun sa atin pocket garden in front. So, bago tayo pumasok. So, we're gonna cross here. Ang shape ng house na to is slightly parang tri uh, um, triangular siya or meron siyang konting diagonal section. Now, you will see that uh, sa drone feed namin kanina, as you can see, na maximize po siya na space. So what's nice about this is, dito sa side na to, as move further, nag dito, naglagay po siya ng uh, storage space for your garden uh, equipment. So pwede po kayo maglagay ng garden equipment dyan, or yung mga uh, tools that you use to repair the house and also to, uh, to fix up the house. So as you move a little bit further, this is your uh, bigger garden which has a patio and an access going inside the property. As you can see, meron na tayo. Ang tiles natin is uh, around 40 by 40 tiles with gray finish. You can put tables and chairs here. Maybe a six-seater dining table. Maybe a sofa with two chairs and a uh, 
a table in the middle wherein you can enjoy or maybe entertain your guests. It can be an indoor-outdoor space for your guests that everybody can enjoy. And I really like this space, especially if you have dogs, if you have kids, na ayaw mo nang lumabas ng bahay and just want them to play inside the house. They have this garden space, uh, which is very reasonable size na rin. So as we move very further dito sa back part ng property natin, we still have this patio leading to the back part of our service area still has a garden and you have your access going inside the property we're done with the exterior let's go and explore the ground floor of this property we're here at our front porch and as you can see it has a very it's a, it has a grand entrance with a double door solid wood panels and i really like you pagka fluted niya ang ganda po niya very welcoming it's very nice when you entertain your guests maybe you can put a uh, uh, your umbrella rack here, a table, a chair here where you can sit down and take off your shoes before you enter the house. There's a lot of possibilities. And the first thing I really like is the fluted panels that they placed here and also the design that the door has because it makes it very uniform. So as we enter our foyer, oh, I don't know if you pronounce it properly, it's wide and grand. You can place a mirror here, a painting here, uh, table here where you can put your car keys or maybe you can put your other stuff and now as we enter to our left side of the house would be a sink so this is very seldom we find in a house na meron po siyang sink separate from yung toilet natin but this one this is really f just to entertain your guests you have a sink here with your digital light a digital switch na light and then you also have a very nice basin now, right beside it would be yung ating um, powder room, which has its own urinal, and you have your toilet. Now, right beside it is your guest bedroom. This is actually the fourth room of the house, but it really didn't count it because it's not, it's not a big space, but it's just right. So, this can be an office, this can be a guest room, this can be maybe an entertainment room or a library or just to store some of the things that you want to be hidden away from sight. So it's just a good space just to do that. Pero pwede rin talaga siyang gawing bedroom. Now, let's proceed and explore the other side of the house. Now, as we enter, one thing that I, you will notice about this house, especially if you see it in the actual, is it's very modern. As you can see, it has accents. It also has designs like, for example, this ceiling, which has a lighting or may pagka coven lighting and you have fluted panels and this um, cement finish which gives you that industrial feel this house is a modern industrial feel and because of your chandeliers with a matte black color finish and you a different design so and it has a very nice feel of the house just a right space not too big not too small just a right space because I think this house is meant for the family to enjoy the indoor and also the outdoor because you have that spacious garden on the side. So as you can see, here's your living area. Right across is your dining area with two sliding glass doors or big good size sliding glass doors with just an access to our garden na kanina po pinakita natin. Now right across would be our kitchen so your kitchen has a center island for those clients or buyers who's looking for a house with a center island this might be the one for you it has a quartz countertop very nice finish you have cabinets all over you have a pantry you have your range hood here your cooktop your cooktop and your range hood and you also have a faucet here and a sink wherein you can wash your dishes now it doesn't stop there one good trait about this property is the service area. It has a lot of space to do the dirty stuff. So this is your indoor dirty kitchen. It's still very spacious. You have a lot of cabinetry. You have your sink. You have your cabinets down below. You have a space wherein you can cook in. And this is also the access going out of the property. Ito po yung pinakita natin kanina na mayroon driver's quarter na toilet and bath. Now, pagpasok natin doon, ito na yung makikita natin. This is the maid's room connected to our service area. Now, you have a good space here to put a single bed or a double deck. And meron na po silang cabinet wherein they can share that. Now, again, 
the drivers in the maid's room have their own toilet and bath which is nice and uh, I appreciate because they don't need you to use the interior part of the house they just need can stay in the service area so you have your toilet you have your toilet you have your sink and you also have your shower now it doesn't stop there we still have a lots of space here in the service area all indoor so you don't have to worry na mababasa yung maid mo magkakasakit ba siya now as you move further we have your laundry area here kanina meron din tayong space doon where you can put your washing machine dito you can also have your washing machine placed here you have two faucets you have uh, uh, may saksakan ka dito you have a good space here wherein you can move around and do your laundry and you can actually hang your clothes natin dito sa back part ng house. We're done with the tour of the ground floor. Let's proceed and go upstairs. Welcome to the second floor. Here we have three bedrooms, all with each of their own toilet and bath and cabinets. We also have an entertainment area here with a very space, huge space. And you know what? I really like houses with entertainment area because typically, Yung mga homeowners, they just stay on the second floor in the bedrooms. And this is a place where the family can converge and enjoy time together. So as you can see, it's spacious, a good size. You can have an entertainment area here. Place your 85-inch or 100-inch TV if we have it already here in the Philippines. It's very spacious, so you can put a couch here, an L-shaped couch. Wherein it can be a lounge area also where you can... You can relax during the day and sit down and you can have a small study area on this other side now so let, let's explore the three bedrooms um, all the rooms are in good size in my opinion it's just a good size it can fit your semi double double bed or even your queen size it's because all of the rooms have their own uh, cabinets installed already and you also have small details like the this mirror here you also have your lighting you have a good uh, size window wherein the flow of the air comes in and important to note that this windows has its own screen because here in the south syempre marami tayong bugs kasi marami tayong mga puno marami tayong grass so may chances na pumasok ni insecto so you really have to install these screens and what's nice these are magnetic so you don't have to worry na maiwan to ng anak mo na bukas tapos naka-open and nakapasok na yung mga flies and also mga insects Again, you can place a queen size, semi double, or even double bed. Now, as you move further through this room, this is actually the first room of the house. You have cabinets, which is enough for one person, or more than enough than one person, especially if it's a boy. But goodbye, I don't know. So, you can also have a dresser here, put a mirror. You also have a cabinet here. It's very spacious. I really like how practical this second floor and all the rooms are. Now, we also have your own toilet and bath here. You have a uh, modular cabinet down below in the sink. You have your toilet and you also have your shower area which has tiles all the way up. Now, once we explore, we're going to explore the second bedroom of this, ha of this house and here in the second floor. It's very identical as the first one. Same size, same shape. Again, you can place your queen size, double, semi-double bed. You also have your own cabinetry. You have your mirror here. You know what? I forgot. And I noticed, I don't know if you noticed, yung mga switches dito sa bahay has this dark charcoal gray color na maganda which adds to the accent of the house. These small details really place a lot, especially when you design your house. Again, same set of cabinets. You have cabinets all the way up, very practical. You can put your bags here, your luggage is here. Kapag nag-travel, punin mo na lang siya, makitapos. And you have a space here wherein you can have your own um, mirror and then again the same you have your you have your sink with your modular cabinet you have your toilet and you also have your shower now let's go to the master's bedroom ang pinaka difference lang nitong two rooms sa master's bedroom mas malaki siya na konti and meron siyang sariling uh, balcony now and you know what i really like before we go to the master's bedroom you know what i like this spot here this hallway leading to the master's bedroom, you can place your family photos. If you're an art collector, you can hang your artwork here or the special pieces that you bought for your ha for your family or family heirloom na mga pieces. It's really nice kasi para siyang gallery. Now again, this is the master's bedroom. 
if sa two rooms ka siya po ay queen size ka siya dito, king size bed, or even two double beds, it can easily fit. It depends on how big you want your bedroom to be. Again, we also have the balcony here. It's just at the right size. And it's almost totally covered. So, hindi kayo mo problema masyado in terms of cleaning na pumasok yung tubig sa loob. Malinis po siya. Now, let's go across and explore yung ating uh, wardrobe cabinet na nandito. It's just a good size. I don't know if this is enough for a master's bedroom na wardrobe cabinet. But this is almost identical but a little bit bigger as compared to the first two rooms. Now, here in the master's bedroom, may konting modification lang dun sa ating toilet and bath. This is a little bit bigger. You have your shower, you have your toilet, but at the same time, instead of nandito yung sink, nandito siya naka, nakaharap. Okay, let me show that. So you can, your sink is faced here on the wall. You can place a huge mirror and you have cabinets up below. And meron na rin pala mga naka-install na mga rack na tulad na ganito. Thank you for watching our house tour for today. Kindly comment down below what you like about this property. Me personally, I really like the service area and also the second floor. It's spacious. You have your entertainment area where the wherein the family can converge and have a time where in, have a place wherein they can bond. Now, if you would like to see this property in the actual and go for a site visit, you can contact us in the contact information posted on the screen. We have our Viber, WhatsApp, and iMessage. You can also visit our website to see the properties that we're selling now if you're still looking around and you just like to get latest updates of properties in the south laguna kawitin matangas you can join our viber community the link is on the description and also comment section once again this is arman cruz and i hope to see you soon in my next house tours bye guys mm -hmm.